Hi, this is Tracy from WeCraft at Home. Um, today I wanted to show you how I'm going to decorate just a simple bucket and make it look a bit more gift worthy. So I was wandering around Home Bargains and I was after a, something to put my herbs in, like a herb garden. Uh, but I wanted it to be nice, but I wanted to be able to decorate it. So I finally found they had these. Now look, it's plastic, but it's made to look like it's got metal and like a wood design on it. Can you see? And I thought this was perfect. And it's a nice size, as you can see, for my little herb garden. Um, it cost me one ninety nine, which I think is brilliant. And I'm going to decorate it and I'm going to show you how I've done it. I bought a smaller one, I think it was 99p, um, and I've already decorated that as well and I'll show you that later. So for now, first thing we need to do is gesso it with white gesso. Um, on the other one I tried to do it without white gesso and although it looked better at first how the paint went on the paint didn't stick too well and started coming back off again so whereas the bit i done with the white gesso has been perfect so I'm going to white gesso the whole of this so that I know that I'm safe so first thing, I'm going to white gesso, you don't need to see that, so I'm just going to give it a quick coat over and then I'll come back and show you what's next. Okay, so I've moved the camera down so that you can see what I'm working on and I'll just show you, I have done the uh, gesso in all over and a little bit at the top because we don't want to leave the top just black it doesn't matter at the bottom because you're going to have earth in there but just so that the top is decorated um, I just use a sponge um, and all it does is make the surface easier for the paint to go on now what I want to do it's hard to see now I've painted it white but the bars I'm going to color in like a copper color I don't know can you see there we go a nice copper color it's actually called money penny and although it might seem boring, I love this grey colour. So it will look like weathered wood, I'm hoping. That's the idea anyway. So that's my idea, that's what I'm going to do. I have to be a bit careful, I know, but I think it will come out fine. And again, I'm just going to use a sponge. So all I've been doing is putting the paint into the lid. It's a nice thick paint so it, it's, it does come out in a nice thick glob look. Is that the one I just used? Okay, so all I do is put a bit on the sponge and just start rubbing it down. And like I said, I really like this grey. I just hope I don't lose the texture of the wood that's on the actual bucket. So I'm going to go around like that. And then um, with the copper on these so it looks more realistic and not quite so plastic. I know at the end of the day when it comes to it it's plastic but it's nice if it looks good on the outside anyway. So I'll do all this and then I'll paint them in the copper and I'll be back. Hi guys so I've painted it and as you can see it had these on that looked like uh, metal bars so I painted them in a copper like look and this I just painted grey you can still see the wood effect but it's hard for me to show you on camera I'm trying to but 
it's uh, so it looks like old weathered wood well that was the look I was going for I painted the top of the inside as you can see it's not great but most of it's going to be filled so it's not too much of a worry so you could leave it there and just have a nice painted so it doesn't look plastic anymore um, tub but actually I'm going to put that down a second just so I can show you the other two I've already done um, so I started off with this one and I painted it greens and then I added the word mint and then what looked like mint leaves um, you can get her best VGs but I didn't particularly like the ones I found and this pot is literally a popcorn pot <laughs> that my grandkids had and I just painted it up and I'll use that for my mint because I want the mint to be separate and then with this one I'm not sure I like this but everyone so far has said they do so I made my own stencil out of leaves that look like the leaves of the um, uh, herbs that I'm using and I done the um, like the negative if you like or so this one is where I've used the outside let me see if I can show you maybe that would make more sense so I put my stencils on an old cello packet I had because um, I use stencil glue. It's the same that you can use on your mats to restick your mats, but it's actually literally for stencils. So for the mint one, I used the actual outside bit and the paint goes inside there. And the good thing about you doing your own stencils is that you've got both the positive and the negative because then for this I used the actual bit that we cut out. You can see it's still a little bit blue but and um, went round it same as I did with the letters. So um, it's just a different effect uh, but I think I like it but I'm not sure if I would have preferred it the other way round. So what I'm going to do with this one is do it the other way round and see what I prefer. Um, but I've done it, I've cut it out a little bit bigger so, um, because it's such a bigger tub. But first of all I've got the words. Now the words I've done in, um, oh, I've shoved them somewhere sorry shouldn't shove should we <laughs> there the words I done in vellum not vellum vinyl sorry um, and I just wanted to show you because again you can use either or like I did with the word parsley I've done it different oh, got all this caught up now and I've taken all the letters off so what I done first was add it all to a sheet of transfer paper. Wow, this vinyl's sticky. So I've got like transfer sheet. I did have the word ready. It's letting me down now. Okay, so that one needs to go there. There we go. Sorry about this, guys. It's just I wanted to show you how I found the easiest way of taking off whatever you're choosing not to use. So, because obviously I'm doing it the other way around to the parsley. So this is the bit I need. I want to paint the letters and I left the H on there just so that I could show you I stuck the whole thing down because you see like the R and the B we need them 
and if it's not stuck on right, like this I haven't stuck it back on right, it doesn't quite look as good. So I need to take my time. There we go. That's a bit better. So the H, yeah. So all you're going to do is um, peel up the corner because it's. Don't forget, it's on sticky paper, so it's not going to be. It's not going to just come up. Don't want to make it easy for you. <laughs> so now I can start peeling it off. You can see it comes off fairly easy like that. So let's just get the other end. I just because I just wanted you to see how I get it off. The paper's stopping it from cutting right. The difference with using vinyl is you can only use it once and then you've got to dispose of it so it's actually not such a great thing to use but again I wanted to show you the difference also the trouble I had with the uh, blue one is um, the vinyl was taking all the paper off uh, the paint even sorry so what I want to do I want it in between the okay so I want this on the top so we're gonna stick it down I hope I've done that evenly not want any gaps because then it's not going to work because the stencil will go through. So and then we're just going to try and push down make sure there's no air Need to stick take the transfer off if it's coming off like that you haven't stuck it down well enough so we've got to be a bit firmer let's try again okay it's starting to come off so i'm going to pull it and help it looks like it's taking the paint off again so I think what we'll have to do is touch it up again afterwards but if I was you I'd use the stencils instead because that doesn't take the paint off
and the transfer tape is reusable. Where did I put that sheet? Okay, so I just got to fix this bit at the, the end that I. There we go. And then just make sure everything is stuck down right. The main thing you're looking for is no gaps where the letters are because if there's gaps the ink is going to get under. Okay, so then you choose what paint you want to use. And I want to use green because they're herbs and they're, you know, So I'm going to just use a sponge. I've just cut up them wash sponges. That's I prefer to use because you can then dab it on. And you don't want too much on at first. So you're just going to dab all the way along. Making sure that you've covered every bit that needs the ink. There we go, so I've done all that. Now I've got to paint, <laughs> take this off and hope that not too much of the paint comes off with it because it was quite sticky. Look, I've got a whole bit of that coming off. But I can just touch it up, I'm not too worried. Yeah, that's why I think you should use the stencils because it didn't happen when I used the stencils, only when I used the vinyl. So I'm going to have to touch that up, which isn't too difficult, but you know, you don't really want to have to do it. And then you've got to throw it away, so it's not even like you can use it again. Well, so you get the idea. There's the word herbs. That's the actual word itself has come out lovely. Um, I just now got to find a, a fine brush and cover up the the problems which I can't do until the word is dry otherwise it will start mixing um, and then like I said I've got my stencil I'll just show you it and this time I want it to um, maybe on each of the sides of the word herbs So from about there, so you can see I've put it all on. So to use the stencil glue, you put it on then you have to leave it to dry before you actually use it and then you can reuse it it goes eventually because you're washing the um... yeah you can wash it a few times still without um, it coming off but it will eventually need more stick 
but it's great. I mean, that's what I originally had it for, is all my stencils. So, again, you're going to pat it on, but be very careful because... Again, take care and make sure you get everything. I'll show you this one and then I'll do the other one off camera so you haven't got to be bored watching me do it all. Obviously you can use a stencil brush. You could even paint it if you wanted. Okay, I think that will do it. Beware though that I have um, done this very quickly so that I can show you all. Obviously you'd take a lot more time. But I think I've got it all. So let's have a look. There we go. Just got to get that little bit. There we are. So it just improves the look. And you can see none of the paint came off of there. Whereas on the herbs it's all come off because I used um, vinyl instead. It's too, too sticky and it just brought the paint straight off. So I'll do that on the other side as well. And then all you need to do, I mean you can put something down here if you wanted. Or um, obviously you're going to decorate it any way you like. Mine's herbs so I didn't want to put any flowers on there because it's nothing to do with flowers. And... Um, what I'll do afterwards, I've got some outdoor Mod Podge, so it's suitable for outdoors. And I'm going to coat all of them in that so that they can go outside. Um, other than that, you can decorate to your heart's delight. If you're not sure about how to make your own stencils, I will be doing a um, lesson coming up teaching you how to do it. So look out for that one and enjoy. Yeah, I hope you do. I'd love to see some if you do your own. And the, oh, oh, the Mod Podge, sorry, before I forget, outdoor Mod Podge, any Mod Podge really, you need to put two to three coats on um, for it to be worthy. But yeah, make sure you do that. It will protect it. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.